Hi everybody! Have you ever made a number line for your classroom? 10 numbers for first grade, no, maybe 20, and uh, 100 for the second graders, and 1000 in class third. 1000? It's impossible! How can you put such a long number line inside the classroom? Besides, you make it, hang it on a wall, and it's time to change. You put it down and again and again until you say, enough, I'm not going to do that again. The children, in the end, will have to learn how to count without a number line anyway. Oh no, come on, the number line is so important, not very original or innovative indeed, but it's so helpful for our pupils. It's a sort of a life belt for the ones who are not so confident with numbers and calculations. And uh, what about us teachers? Is it really only a nuisance? Actually, it helps us consider some crucial aspects of learning maths. The children see those numbers on the wall and naturally stop counting things and start using symbols. They learn and understand the number sequence with tens and hundreds day by day, simply watching them. It's more than classroom decoration. It's a basic teaching strategy, but it works. Number line in the classroom. Let's start with the first class. The first number line I used in my classroom was the calendar. It was big and visible, 31 numbers with a precise purpose, counting days. And then, on the opposite wall, we hung the numbers from 1 to 10, one by one. For every number there was a short song, pictures, objects to count and so on. And what about the number zero? I asked my kids if they have ever heard about it. I told them Mr. Zero is a very special number and sometimes he hides. It's very important to make the number line together with the children. I know it's hard to organize crafts and cooperative work, but it really makes a difference. So some pupils will color the numbers, another group will paste the macaroni on the dish, and the others can color the worksheets. In the meanwhile, we were working, counting and solving problems with greater numbers. Boys and girls in the playground, preparing the table for the school canteen. We represent only a part of the numerical sequence, but this shouldn't be a limit to our activities. And they could look at the calendar anyway. In a few weeks, the space on the wall was over and my students protested and complained. Where is Mr. Zero? Where can we put number 11? 12 is my favorite number, please. There was no other possibility. We had to make everything again. This time I printed smaller numbers. No pasta, no fairy tales, no pictures. Nothing to count, only the symbols. It was an important step in learning. Our new number line was up to 23, like the number of boys and girls in the classroom. We needed this number for the roll call. We also used the number line to organize games and teams. It's better to find a practical reason for the number we represent in our number line. 31 like the days in a month, 25 like the students in our class and so on. Every pupil created his own number following the alphabetical order. I, the teacher, got the number zero. It was an occasion to stimulate a reflection about it. Zero is a special number, you won't find it in the calendar, you won't find it in ordinal numbers. When you teach them tens and ones, you can add this detail. Toothpicks for units and tied groups of toothpicks for the tens. Again, there's something to count, something visible, well, nearly visible. If you want to see the toothpicks, you have to go closer to the line. Furthermore, you can't verify the number of the toothpicks in the groups. It's a symbol, it's 10. So, as you can see, my young students completed our number line day by day. And at the end of the school year, we had to remove it. 
We will start again next year with 100 numbers. I haven't thought about the graphic design. I'd like to make a long train with a wagon for every 10. But I have to wait for my children's ideas. I still have the pictures of a 1000 number line I created in class 3rd. 10 paper meters. Cardboard. I printed the 10 numbers to make the hundreds more evident. And patiently my kids had to write the digit of the different hundreds as shown in the picture. Obviously, a 10 meter number line was not in the classroom. We hung it in the corridor and occasionally some students asked to go outside and check. Maybe they were not so sure about the number before or after when the numbers were up to 500 or more. The number line helps weak students and on the other hand teachers you can see who is autonomous and who constantly turns back and looks at the number line to get a help. You can invent games too. Here my kids divided into two teams, frog addiction and crowfish subtraction, picked a card and then sent our parrot back and forth on the number line. Above all, if you make, create the number line together with your students, you will find many occasions to think and discuss about even and odd numbers, tens, ones, scale reduction, twice, double, etc. Maybe it's not the most technological method, but if you make it with your students, they will love it. They will consider it the most innovative, creative math craft and the best classroom decoration ever. Bye for now. Enjoy your school time.